Good morning, ESM. I love you. That's right, it's Valentine's Day. It's also a day two. Now, we wanted to do a little game to try and raise the Valentine's Day spirit. But uh, technology is garbage and I hate it. So we could not get it edited in time. So instead, I figured we could talk about our favorite, co um, favorite couples in pop culture. Exactly, right after news and announcements. A FedEx cargo plane declared an emergency on Thursday night after the pilot reported smoke in the cockpit. The Hancock Airport said that the Boeing 757 landed without incident. But once on the ground, they declared an emergency. The plane was then towed to the cargo ramp where it is being investigated. The body of a six-year-old in South Carolina was found near the remains of an unidentified man. Police are currently treating this death, this death as a homicide. Faye Sweltick was seen last in front of her yard in front of her home on Monday. The case Department of Public Safety said in a statement they are working closely with the coroner's office to process a large amount of physical evidence. An autopsy will be conducted on Faye this Saturday. Vice President Mike Pence stated, We are deeply saddened to receive word of the remains of Faye Sweltick were found. We hold this family in our prayers. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are officially closing their office in the Buckingham Palace, cutting their ties to the royal rule. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, who announced last month that they would be stepping down from the royal titles, have moved to Canada to be with their son Archie and have stated that they are working on achieving their goal of becoming financially independent. And I'm John with Sports News. Uh, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, we got some announcements Whoa. for you. It was Katie. not the camera shot I was expecting. Yeah, we're over there now. Hey. Katie, uh, what do we got going on for announcements today? Come out and show off your talent tomorrow night at Trappers 2. The junior class is sponsoring an open mic night from 4 to 8 p.m. All members of the community are invited to participate. The class of 2021 is also sponsoring a Dine for Dollars event at Trappers 2 all day tomorrow. Come out and watch SU play at noon and support the junior class. You must bring the flyer. Contact Mrs. Brooks in B7 if you would like one. Seniors, yes you. Me? Me? The, the variety show has started moving forward and we are coming up with some great ideas for the show. So make sure you come to the meetings Tuesday and Thursday after break in room B44. Katie, it's great to have you on the show. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I'm you. not doing either of those uh, things. Now listen, I see myself in a lot of couples in pop culture. Uh, in that they are incredibly unlikely and will end in heartbreak? No, in that the girlfriend or crush is significantly more attractive and my insecurities ruin the relationship. So I prefer dream scenarios like Jim and Pam, Watson and Mary, Amy and Rory. Uh, Rory is not that attractive. Rory is a solid eight on a good day, and that's besides the point, though. So why don't you like, why don't you like couples where one is more attractive than the other? Uh, because I see myself in that scenario, and then I get very jealous because I'm very lonely, and also because Adam Sandler owns that genre, and I hate Adam Sandler. But what about you? What do you think about, uh, what, are, what are your favorite couples? Well, we'll talk about that after weather. Everyone's real mad that I said I hate Adam Sandler. <laughs> to be very cold all day with a high of 14 and a low of zero. Saturday will be warmer with a high of 29 and a low of 24. There will be sun and clouds. Sunday will have a mix of rain and snow with a high of 38 and a low of 22. Monday will have more clouds with a high of 32 and there will be a low of 28. That will continue for the rest of break with a lot of snow. I'm Bella with your weather. All right, we are jumping right into it. I actually have a top five list of favorite couples. A really organized top five list? Yes, a really organized top five list. Let's hear it. All right, all right, number five. Jess and Robbie from New Girl. I love their dynamic. Okay. Uh, number four, Chris and Kathy from Flowers in the Attic. Very romantic. Number three, okay. Luther and Allison from Umbrella Academy. Superpowers means super cool storylines. Okay. Number two, right. Cersei and Jamie from Game of Thrones. Um, it's cool to watch them kill people together. And number mm -hmm. one, who, who else? Luke and Leia from Empire Strikes Back. Come on. Uh, yeah, we all saw that coming, but not for the reason that I think uh, you think we saw it coming. Because they're so romantic. Have you actually seen any of those shows or movies? I have not, but I've seen memes. 
All right, so Malachi and I are going to have a quick talk, but while that's happening, let's go to sports. America Carhart really? and I finished their bowling seasons yesterday in the sectional shootout. This was Tyler and I's last match of their of our high school careers. Congrats, Spartans. In upcoming games, the boys basketball team has their senior night against Liverpool tonight at 645. And over the break, the wrestling team has a match on Saturday. And the boys and girls basketball teams both have games Tuesday the 18th. Good luck to the Spartans. I'm Chris with Sports. Well, we hope you've all been inspired by this episode to go out and find some romance. Love isn't real. Okay, buddy. Love is dead. All right, just put your head back down. It's going to be all right. Uh, that's all the time we have for today. So for me, Malachi, and everyone else here on Spartan News, have a very romantic day. Why would day. they do that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Magical. <laughs>